All right, I got a welder, a grinder with a cutting wheel on it, and a pair of used headers, and a whole bunch of other pieces of pipe that I found from some disassembled Chinese piece of crap somebody threw away. I don't even know what it is. So I'd like to make a set of custom headers, something that looks like the ones maybe on a dragster, with classic Buick venti ports coming out the side. So it's a true Buick, because the Shortmaster used to be a Roadmaster. Let's get busy. Now I've just wrecked a perfectly good pair of headers to start the beginning. Chop chop. Not much left in my header now. Now I've got that contraption, which needs more pipes added to it and lots of little spot welds. I'll do up all the spot welds solid now and add extension tubes. Cool. Two hours later, all welded up and made extra long. Now I've got to install it and trim all those long edges off at an angle to length. Cool. There we go. Now just time to trim them. Close the hood and draw a line and trim an angle cut. Looks sweet. And of course didn't cost anything. Just about there. A piece of tape will make a good spot to run my cut along. That's pretty redneck. Almost through. Just got to bark break them off now. There we go. Done like an empty beer and perfect. Cool. I can play a tune when she's off and I can play a tune when she's running. So I gotta like it. Now there's a Buick with some awesome functional venti ports. Every Buick owner needs a set. Now I've got two dismembered headers. And I'm working on the other side. Lots of complicated tubes. This side's more difficult because I've got to make clearance for the brake booster and master cylinder. Now just to uh, completely weld all my tacks and add the extension tips. Sweet. Hours later the pipes are finally done. Looks cool. This ain't no chip foos piece of shit. You know, tow it and show it. This is a rider and a driver. This thunders. This lets the people know this is a Dave's Farm car. Truest Buick ever made. Now I just have to relocate the battery box and put it somewhere else. And I'll fire that pig up tomorrow. It's now the longest day of summer. The solstice. And then we got a beautiful day, but it's fucking cold. It's only 20 degrees Celsius. Day 3, 18.5 hours later. We are finally ready to do the very first startup in 2008 and a test drive. And we got a warm front moving in and it's going to start raining. I've had to do many repairs on this thing, not just the pipes and modifications, of course. And so I dedicate this video to Todd and his family from Minnesota. They love Dave's farm. Cheers! Now let's see if it starts and see how it sounds. 5.7 liter fuel injected throttle body V8. First time for 2008. First time it's been completed.
sounds awesome. You like? I like. Nice. A little bit of exhaust comes in here, but the ventilation is very good. Buick by the beach. What a wonderful concept. was sweet, but it's easy to lose control. Well, other than the true Buick exhaust mods that I had to do this week, I had to run some new fat heavy-duty battery cables and reposition the battery back here behind the seat and I've got a little plate that it sits on that it mounts to. These seats came out of my Nissan Sentra that I took to the junkyard. And as you can see, way back in the engine bay, those are brake lines. There's one of my redneck T-joints. Up here just under the hood line is the proportioning valve, which I had to move from over here. So I had to redo all the brake lines in this car. And there you can see the battery a bit better. And I have a C-clamp on my roof to hold up the roof liner that's falling down that I haven't glued up yet. Well, Mitch from Australia, this is what I've been up to for the last three days, so I haven't put any videos on. No time to edit. That's for rainy days. This looks like it could be coming soon. Successful first test drive, gotta love it.